Jenny, that was the woman in your dreams? Yeah. And you know what she was talking about? Scratching, flickering lights, both signs of a malevolent spirit. Yeah, well, I'm just freaked out that your weirdo visions are coming true. Well, forget about that for a minute. The thing in the house, do you think it's the thing that killed Mom and Jessica? I don't know. Well, I mean, has it come back or has it been there the whole time? Well, maybe it's something else entirely, Sam. We don't know yet. Well, those people are in danger, Dean. We have to get them out of that house. And we will. No, I mean now. And how are you going to do that, huh? You got a story that she's going to believe? Then what are we supposed to do? We just got to chill out, that's all. You know, if this was any other kind of job, what would we do? We try to figure out what we were dealing with. We dig into the history of the house. Exactly, except this time we already know what happened. Yeah, but how much do we know? I mean, how much do you actually remember? About that night, you mean? Yeah. Not much. I remember the fire. The heat. Then I carried you out the front door. You did? Yeah, well, you never knew that? No. And, uh, well, you know Dad's story as well as I do. Mom was... was on the ceiling. Whatever put her there was long gone by the time Dad found her. And he never had a theory about what did it? If he did, he kept it to himself. God knows we asked him enough times. Okay. So if we're to figure out what's going on now, we have to figure out what happened back then. And see if it's the same thing. Yeah. Talk to Dad's friends, neighbors, people who were there at the time. Does this feel like just another job to you? I'll be right back. Go to the bathroom. This is John Winchester. This is an emergency. Call my son, Dean, 866-907-3235. Dad? I know I've left you messages before. I don't even know if you get them. But I'm with Sam, and we're in Lawrence. And there's something in our old house. I don't know if it's the thing that killed Mom or not. I don't know what to do. So, whatever you're doing, if you could get here, please. I need your help, Dad. <laughs> 